Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Crystal. If you're new, we're going to talk about what I packed in the hospital bag that we are bringing to the hospital for a baby girl. Last week, I filmed what me and my husband are bringing to the hospital and I'll have that video linked up above. This video is all about what we were bringing for baby girl. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you keep on watching. So like I said, today's video is all about what we are bringing to the hospital for Riley. And I just have everything packed in the diaper bag right here before i start showing y'all that stuff and make sure that you check with your hospital that you will be delivering at to know what exactly you need to bring and um, what they allow and all of that stuff for example the hospital that i am giving birth in allows you to dress your babies in like onesies and swaddles and all of that stuff but i believe it was my sister-in-law i think that's right um, I feel like she told me that where they delivered their son at, um, he was supposed to wear like a specific shirt, um, that the hospital provided and he couldn't put his own clothes on until they were leaving to go home. So just keep that in mind and do your own research to see what your hospital allows and all of that good stuff. So like I said... I just have everything in the diaper bag and I'm just going to go through and pick everything out. So the first thing that I'm bringing is just like a comfy blanket. Just if we want to do skin to skin and have a blanket on us or maybe for cute pictures or whatever. But I just felt like I wanted to have her... Um, blanket there with us just in case but she has this waffle blanket and um, in this it's called balsam green I got it from an Etsy shop and I just I love this it came in the mail just yesterday so I washed it and put it straight into her bag another thing that we are bringing is a really pretty swaddle this is the one that we have um, this one is from Caden Lane. We have this swaddle and then we got a headband to go with it. So let me see if I can do this. We have this cute little headband to go with it. So a swaddle and a headband. And I am really looking forward to taking cute pictures with this one. Um, kind of like an announcement. Um picture probably I'll probably post on Instagram so make sure you're following me over there um my Instagram's always linked down below we also have Riley's going home outfit and she is just going to be wearing this cute little um purple gown that ties at the bottom and when we put her in the car seat we'll just untie it and kind of pull it up a little bit but it has these um the little sleeves that fold over and that this actually came with a little hat that you again tie a little knot at but my sister who um this was a gift from her she actually got a little headband to go with it as well so we have options there now as far as what she will be wearing underneath the swaddle i have a couple of options for um onesies first i have um two i have two onesies right here so this one is a newborn size and this one is a zero to three month because I'm not really sure, you know, how big she's going to be. So I just wanted to have a newborn size and a zero to three month, just in case one of them will fit. And then I also have a plain white onesie with this cute little sticker that we may take a picture with as well. 
I also am packing two burp cloths for like when we're breastfeeding and stuff like that. And I also have a um, little swaddle pod thing in case we don't want to wrap her in a swaddle. We can just use this swaddle as instead. Sorry about that. My mom just got here and I had to go into the door. But uh, yeah, we're going to go have lunch. But I'm almost done. The only other thing that I'm bringing to the hospital is um, the baby book that um, I got that just has, um, I think there's a spot in here for, uh, yeah, right here. There's a spot where you can put their handprint and their footprint. So I just want to bring this in case um, the nurses will stamp it for me um, when he's born. And then we can write all of her stats and stuff in there like how much she weighed and all of that stuff i am bringing a couple of different types of diapers with me um i probably won't use these because the hospital provides them but i do remember that when benjamin was born they used pampers which pampers worked great for benjamin but i'm just nervous that um because we had, you know, Huggies and other diapers leak for Benjamin. So I don't know if Riley, you know, Pampers may not work for her. So I just have a couple of extra diapers just in case. And then, um, yeah, we may not use these until we get home. But at least I'll have them. We are also bringing um, the Boppy Pillow um, to the hospital. I really liked having this last time with Benjamin because it made it easier to um, feed him and just um, be in a more comfortable position. It was also nice when we had visitors, but obviously we're not going to be having visitors this time. Um, but yeah, I just want to have that just in case. The only thing that I do not have packed in her bag is a little sticker that I ordered, which... Hopefully it gets here in time. It hasn't shipped yet, but it's a little sticker. I'll pop up, you know, what it looks like right there. But it's a little sticker that said my that says my name is, and then it says Riley on it. Yeah, I want to take some pictures with her having it on her. That is the only thing that I'm still waiting on. But if it doesn't get here in time, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I think that is basically everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching and that you found this video helpful. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you like this video. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.